Hello and welcome to the second part of my Python Mesa uh, tutorial. Today we will change the base code we have from the previous video. And we will start by changing the way we pass the parameters to our money model class, the simulations module. So we have a dictionary here and we will create a dictionary named simulation params and now we will pass our keys the number of agents and as we are using this key we need to change later on in the model.py uh, file the class to accept this parameter in the dunder init method now in this parameter we want to use a slider so we will import the user setable parameter from the Mesa visualization user param and now giving the slider argument to it as a string and then the label we want on it number of agents and now the value so the default value it will be 50. Now we add the mean value of 10 so our simulation will always be at least 10 agents on it. The maximum value is 200 and then we define the step as 1 in this case. And we define as well the description parameter and Let's choose how many agents to include in the simulation. The first parameter is done with the user setable parameter and now we need to give the other parameters, the other uh, ones we define on the model dunder in it the width and the height for the grid. Let's specify some global constants here, the number of cells we want in our grid. And now the pixel size for the canvas in the X and Y position, so size of canvas in pixels X. and then the size of canvas in pixels y Let, let's use the width and height as the number of cells and now let's change the hand parameter on our money model class to the number of agents because the names must match this dictionary with the parameters we need to pass to the money model class. So now we replace the dictionary with one with the finder and let's run the simulation and we have the uh, slider here we can adjust this is the number of agents we can change the values and we need to press reset to see the changes however the the simulation is not appearing on the screen so we have some problems and I forgot to change the canvas grid parameters where you need to give the grid height and width and the canvas number of pixels in X and Y as you can see in the canvas grid uh, class um, description And now you can see the simulation, however it is too big. Uh, let's change the values here. Let's try 500 and 100 for the number of cells. Now it seems to be a little bit too small. The number of cells is okay, let's change the x and y and if we reset we can see the new number of agents so 
now let's add a shirt so we can see some data and let's try to see the number of wealthy agents and the number of non-wealthy agents. The non-wealthy agents will have zero as wealth. So to collect the data we need to use a data collector from the Mesa library. And we define it, let's call it data collector current. And it is equals to data collector and now we need to specify a dictionary with the series we want to collect. The first one, wealthy agents. Let's change here. And the second one, non wealthy agents. And now we need to define the functions that retrieve the data for us. Let's create some functions here, and they will be static methods, as we do not need this, uh, the self inside of them. We receive the model. So let's define the current healthy agents method that returns a hint value. Let's use the sum of a list comprehension here. We sum one for an agent from the model that schedule. I'm wrong here. Schedule dot agents so we can access all the agents in the model one for each agent if the agent wealth is greater than zero this is a static method so let's duplicate code and change for the non-wealthy agents and then it equals to zero adding some doc strings here return the total number of wealthy agents the model is the money uh, model simulation model let's fix this um, and returns the number of wealthy agents let's copy and paste and change it to non wealthy agents and non wealthy agents as well so now we can add it to our data collector, the current healthy agents and the current non wealthy agents methods. And we need to tell the data collector to collect the data when we want, and then in the server.py file we will use the uh, data. So we want to use, we want to collect data on each step. So after activating our agents using the schedule step method, we uh, collect the data using the collect method and passing the self to uh, the um, data collector. Now inside the server.py file, we can create a new canvas to hold our chart. We need to include the um, chart module from the Mesa library and then near the grid canvas we can create our sh uh, chart occurrence. Let's call it occurrence and we use the chart module import. Inside we uh, give him a list of uh, dictionaries, one dictionary for each series we, we want to display. 
the canvas 8 uh, tree under in this case and the data collector name that we defined uh, inside the module there is data collector underscore current so the first dictionary will have the label with capital letter is the key of the dictionary that is wealthy agents and these names must match then the second key is color and let's use green you can use hexadecimal colors or strings here and the second one will be for non wealthy agents and the color is let's use red so now we uh, add it to the list in the modular server and we can run to see it and yes there there it is our chart with uh, wealthy agents and non wealthy agents and now we can add some uh, agents and start the execution and see the data inside the chart so let's fast forward and start and we can see the data changing however for some reason the non wealthy agents are not being updated so let me see and yes I told you the name the names here must match with the model names and you can see the G is capital G and not so we need to change it and now hopefully this will work let's start and now you can see the non wealthy agents being updated as well so now how to stop the simulation based on some condition you can use the current non wealthy agents to build our condition and if the number of current non wealthy agents is greater than is greater than let's say 12 we will stop the simulation by setting is running instance variable to false so this is how you can stop the simulation based on a condition adding some comment here checking if there is more than 20 agents without wealth to stop the simulation and now if we save it let's reset and then start and the simulation is now stopped as it reached the 21 non wealthy agents so this is how you can work with the Python Mesa library. If you have some questions, please let me know in the comments. Please subscribe, click on like button and see you again in the next tutorial.